So here we go. It's the perfect size for this size tank. Don't turn up the intensity so much. Standard morning setting. Look how nice things are growing here. Ah, hey guys. Happy Sunday. Today we're going to talk about the Kessel A80. Today, we're going to talk about the Kessel A80 and how it works over my five gallon tall custom. I've gotten a couple questions on lighting. Lighting can only be told and understood if you see it over your aquarium. It's the perfect size for this size tank. Notice how close I have it too to the water, guys. It's not necessary to have these lights that are adjustable and controllable so far away. It's about your spread. If you look in the back there, you can see the light spread. If I raise that, and you can almost see it here on the wall, if I raise this up any higher, it's going to be way too much spread so I put it down nice and close it's only about six inches away and I just don't turn up the intensity so much look how nice things are growing here my calerpa is just exploding which is so cool everything's looking really good with this light <laughs> Alright, let's start out with this, guys. This is my standard morning setting. I use it by the time clock. So I'm about one o'clock on my color, which is the blue. So you can see if I go down from 12, I get bluer. I'm adding more blue until I'm maxed out. Then I raise it up uh, to about one o'clock range all right this is your intensity so as I said before when you come down about this is nine o'clock it shuts off that's the only negative thing I wish see this distance here and there's nothing wrong with it I have two of these and they both do the same thing it just doesn't dim down all the way it, that's about your maximum dim unless you put it as low as you can on the intensity and then put your blue way down that gives you kind of a nighttime look to it and I'm gonna test par readings with it too with you so then I bring it up and you can go all the way up it's very bright I don't go up that high I noticed I get uh, too much green algae around the sides so here we go Right now, I'm on that setting that we spoke about earlier of 2 o'clock and about 1 o'clock. And you can see that my reading right about there, we're what? I'm looking over. There we are at that setting. If I come close to the top of the water, see the difference just a few inches make? I remember I had a 50 watt metal halide bulb over my 10 gallon nano reef many, many years ago. It was a pendant light. Then I'll crank it up to what I put it on most of the time during the day. And what do we go to? But I had it about 24 inches above the tank. Let's see if the par is affected by blue light. I would imagine it does. Let's see if we put a lot of blue on. Let's see. Guess what? Not much. Right? That's pretty darn interesting. I just learned something myself. Quick 
update on the Skim 350 by Eheim, guys. It works great. However, at about the five day mark, the little filter sponge that I've replaced with higher micron sponge fills with detritus and stuff quicker. So if you're gonna use it, you have to change the little sponge out. I would recommend minimum once a week. So that's it. I hope you got something out of this. So that's it. That's it for this one, guys. All right, guys, that's it for this one. So that's it. Stay healthy, have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. So that's it.